Hi everyone, welcome to the RP Resonance Chemistry. Now we will start the another new session regarding to the biomolecules. So in previous cases, I have to completed uh, like a, a, a coordination chemistry. I think two or three videos are left. I'll upload uh, within a week uh, those two or three videos. Again, parallelly, I'll run the basic and advanced name of the action series. Okay. Now in this session, I'll start the new series that is a uh, biomolecules. Okay. So in general, it is a very small topic. Uh, it requires uh, just four to five hours time to complete these videos. Okay. To complete all these topics regarding to the biomolecules. So now here, which is very small topic, but uh, one four marker question came from the CSAR as well as like a two marker question from the gate okay so that's why I'll start the video uh, like very fastly okay now in this session we will discuss about uh, biomolecules let us start the lecture that is on biomolecules so generally biomolecules are the groups of uh, four it, it contains a fourth group four groups one is lipids so second one is uh, like nucleic acids the third one is carbohydrates. The final one is proteins. Final one is proteins. So now in this session we will discuss the proteins. Okay. Now here proteins which contains keratins, like uh, which is available, which which is uh, made up of like a uh, uh, hair as well as uh, fingernails, uh, such type of compounds like a uh, collagen. Okay, which is uh, mainly absorbed in bones. Okay, bones type of tissues. Again, hemoglobin. So we know that uh, the role of hemoglobin, which transfer the oxygen from lungs to tissues. Again, insulin. Those type of. So these type of all the compounds are proteins. These type of all the compounds are proteins. So generally, these type of proteins are which having the higher molecular weight compounds, higher molecular weight. Here the molecular weight of proteins are 10,000 to like 15 millions. Okay, approximately it is 10,000 to 15 millions. So, so here it is the large molecular weight. That's why it is, they the are called polymers. So those are the polymers. So in generally, proteins are having the like uh, several types of uh, wide widest range of functionality. Okay, in generally, protein having the like percentage, average percentage of uh, elements that is carbon, hydrogen, like nitrogen, oxygen, sulfur. Now here oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur. Uh, let us assume. Now carbon it is 53%, hydrogen is 7%, oxygen is 23%, Nitrogen is 6%, 16%, sulfur is 1%. Okay, so here the average percentage of amino, uh, like proteins uh, contains the atoms. Okay, carbon it contains 53%, hydrogen 7, oxygen 23, nitrogen 16, sulfur is 1%. Okay, again they have the like uh, a very trace amounts of uh, phosphorus, like uh, manganese, zinc, uh, iodine, those type of elements, very trace amounts, very trace amounts. All the type of proteins, uh, similarly it contains the type of uh, like a composition only okay so finally uh, these type of proteins uh, like uh, generally proteins whenever it undergoes the hydrolysis whenever it undergoes the complete hydrolysis it gives the those type of compounds uh, that compound having uh, one NH2 group uh, and one NOOROOH group Okay, so whenever the proteins will completely undergo the hydrolysis reaction, hydrolysis will give up. So these type of compounds, that compound having the one NH2 group and one COOH group. So that, that type of groups are called amine as well as acids. That's why those are called amino acids. Amino acids that indicates so proteins is, is made up of several types of amino acids through the peptide linkage through the peptide linkage so simply proteins are called like a polymers of amino acids okay now we are know that proteins are polymers okay so which is made up of several types of amino acids okay today our lecture is on amino acids in general so amino acids which contains Amine, okay, amine at uh, any position like uh, at, at uh, carboxylic acid, okay, it is a bifunctionality compound both having the amine as well as carboxylic acid, those type of compounds are called amino acids, okay, now let us start the our lecture on amino acids, this is the very basic information, okay, now let us go through the amino acids, 
now here it is the amino acids so amino acids having the bifunctionality one is a amine group another one is a like a carboxylic acid group so generally all the amino acids are chiral compounds all the amino acids are chiral compounds except glycine so that means chiral compounds means it having the chiral center chiral center that uh, that having the stereogenic center that is also called as a stereogenic center so if any compound which having the stereogenic center it forms the stereo isomers stereo isomers either d and l or r and s configuration so now here so amino acids and carbohydrates are measured by the relative configuration that is d and l isomers now here it forms the d and l isomers so in generally all the amino acids all the amino acids having l m l type of isomer having the l type of isomer have assigned the l type of isomers now we will know that all the amino acids are chiral except glycine so all the amino acids are um, uh, assigned by the l configuration we know that uh, so the uh, general uh, like um, so this is the reference compound for the dl nomenclature so this is nothing but glyceraldehyde it is the d glyceraldehyde so whenever the higher electronegativity atom on left side then it is l glyceraldehyde l glyceraldehyde so our amino acids containing these type of structures so that's why so the more electronegativity atom nh2 so highest uh, oxidizable group on the top uh, so here it is the hydrogen here it is the r so this is the simplest uh, representation of uh, amino acid simplest representation of amino acid now here it having the like uh, all or l type of isomers Now, the classification of amino acids. So, generally, amino acids are classified several types based on the like their location. Classification of uh, amino acids. Okay. So, general classification based on the based on their location of amine amine group, location of NH two. So, now next, uh, like uh, occurrence, where it is occurred from natural sources, or it can be prepared from the synthesis. Okay, again based on the like a uh, requirement or it is based on the like a chemical re chemical properties, chemical like a uh, chemical nature. Okay, so in generally based on the location, so if it is uh, like a carboxylic acid, okay, now here it is a CH like a CH or CH. So if NH2 group present over there. So, which is the carbonyl compound, sorry, carboxylic acid compound. So, these carboxylic acid adjacent carbon is called alpha. So, alpha position having the NH2, then it is called alpha amino acids. If NH2 present over there, so alpha adjacent position is beta, then adjacent position is gamma. So, beta position having the beta, so then it is called beta amino acids. Now, if it may be present over there, then it is like gamma amino acids. So, based on the position of NH2 group, which is classified alpha, beta, gamma. Okay, so generally all the natural type of amino acids, all naturally occurring amino acids are alpha amino acids. Okay, so all our naturally occurring alpha amino acids, that's why COOH, like NH2, here the H, here the R group. Okay, so now one H is there, so here it is the R group that having the like alkyls, any, any type of compound, so that's why here it having the chiral center. We are already discussed amino acids having the at least one chiral center. Okay, so this is the first classification based on the like occurrence which is classified into two types one is natural occurrence another one is a synthesizer another one is a synthesizer so generally we are all observed 20 amino acids so those 20 are naturally occurred amino acids okay based on the requirement now it is classified essential as well as non-essential amino acids essential as well as non-essential amino acids so in generally so amino acids which contains a human uh, like a human beings Okay, not only human beings, any type of animals. So generally, uh, plants are synthesized the uh, amino acids, proteins, not the amino acids. Plants are synthesized the proteins, but the animals cannot synthesize those type of uh, proteins uh, with the help of like uh, inorganic materials like sulfates, uh, nitrates, phosphates, such type of elements. But uh, so animals, they are getting the proteins from eating the like uh, plants. Okay, generally plants are synthesized the proteins. Okay. Okay, 
human body having the several types of amino acids but uh, some of the amino acids cannot synthesize our body uh, like uh, instantaneously or itself it cannot synthesize uh, several types of amino acids okay but it can take through the diet it can take through the diet those amino acids are required but we cannot uh, prepared in our body so that's why those are called essential amino acids which are taken through the diet which are taken through the diet so which is already prepared in our body that's why those, those are no need that's why they are called non-essential amino acids so based on the like a chemical nature which is classified three types so one is like acidic amino acids basic amino acids like a neutral amino acid so acidic amino acid means here it is the COOH here it is the like NH2 functionality again it having the like another type of uh, another another mole of a COOH functionality so additional COOH functionality is there then it is called NH2 so additional NH2 group is present then it is called uh, like a uh, basic amino acids so additional COOH is there acidic additional NH2 is there basic uh, like a uh, addition uh, there is uh, nothing and uh, that means um, like a uh, one mole of a COOH one COOH functionality and one NH2 functionality are there then it is called uh, like a uh, neutral amino acids now let us discuss the uh, generally naturally occur alpha amino acids based on that we will classify which is uh, uh, like a uh, acidic amino acid or basic amino acid alpha amino acid beta amino acids okay now let us discuss the, some of the amino acids okay now first of all we will discuss the aliphatic amino acids aliphatic amino acids now the general representation of amino acid is uh, like this here NH2 here the COOH according to the Fisher rule now here hydrogen so here it is the R so this is the simplest representation of amino acid now here instead of R we used the H then it is called glycine then it is called glycine here two similar types of groups are there that's why it is only not a chiral center not a chiral center so which is a simply it is denoted by the three terms abbreviation GLY single term abbreviation is Z so this is the like a glycine now the next one is so instead of R we used the like a methyl group uh, that is a uh, alanine so here ALA okay it stands for A now instead of methyl like we used the like a isopropyl group uh, isopropyl group uh, then it is called a valley so which uh, seems to be like a V so that's why it is called valley very easier method to remember those okay VAL which is transfer V okay so now here it is the like a third type of amino acid now instead of uh, isopropyl we will take the butyl group uh, C, uh, sorry here the NH2 COOH here CH CH2 CH2 like a uh, two methyl groups or two methyl groups that is a uh, CH3 over there CH3 over there okay now here it is called leucine it is called uh, leucine so again instead of methyl over there now this methyl will shifted over here then it is called ch ch3 ch2 ch3 okay so these type of groups are called isoleucine isoleucine so simply it is called a i l e so the, the singlest singlest abbreviation is i so these five are aliphatic amino acids these five are aliphatic amino acids in generally so here r is equal to h then it is a uh, glycine r is equal to methyl alanine r is equal to like isopropyl valine here it is isobutyl leucine isobutyl which is isomerized isobutyl then we, which is nothing but uh, isolation so instead of uh, like these are the aliphatic uh, amino acids now let us discuss the one of the aromatic uh, amino acid and h2 COOH like a CH2 this is phenyl group so phenyl alanine phenyl alanine simply it is simply it is known as PHE the term is F the single abbreviation term is F so these are the like a first six amino acids so these five are aliphatic amino acid this is the aromatic amino acid this is aromatic amino acid now let us discuss the, some of the amino acids which contains a uh, oxygen atom Now let us discuss the alcoholic alcohol containing amino acids alcohol containing 
amino acids. Now here, alcohol containing amino acids are uh, three are there. So one is the serine, tyrosine, like a such type of a threonine compound. Okay. Now here it is the COOH according to the fridge configuration. So here NH2, here it is the hydrogen. Here CH2OH is there. Then it is called the serine. Okay. Now here SER, the term is yes. Okay. Now here, simply NH2 COOH it is common for the every amino acid so the first uh, top unit is, is common for the every amino acid now here CH CH3 so this is the OH functionality so these type of compounds are called threonine THR so which is the T okay now however so here hydrogen NH2 COOH COOH CH2 like here it is the phenol so simply which is called as phenylalanine so which containing OH group then it is called tyrosine then it is called tyrosine okay now here TYR now here the term is Y okay now sulfur containing amino acids sulfur containing amino acids now here hydrogen so NH2 COOH okay now here CH2OH CH2 yes H this is called cysteine okay so here uh, two words are there so cysteine here the two two moles of a cysteines are combined together to give the cysteine cysteine both are different okay so be careful about these terms c y yes so c y yes now however so another sulfur containing group is there that is a c n h2 h ch ch2 ch2 sulfur methyl this is called methionine this is called methionine okay so now here it is a uh, methionine and uh, cysteines or sulfur containing amino acids sulfur containing amino acids now let us discuss the like uh, some of the heterocyclic amino acids heterocyclic amino acids so now here it is the heterocyclic amino acid nh okay now here hydrogen COOH so here hydrogen is the below the plane this is the above the plane I like I'll explain the stereochemical aspect also so which is called proline which is called proline in previous case all the amino acid amine group is a primary amine but except proline here it is the secondary amine due to the a part of cyclic ring here it is the secondary amine now however the some of the like a heterocyclic compound heterocyclic compound so so now here is like nh2 hydrogen COOH now here CH2 like a, here it is the indole ring here it is the indole ring so this type of indole ring okay now here indole ring third position having the CH2 again a basic part of amino acid this is, is called a, so indole containing compound is called a tryptophan tryptophan Fan. okay now however certain compounds which having the not the indole hydrogen nh2 COOH now here CH2 so this this containing imidazole this containing imidazole not the indole so in this case of indole here it is the third position now here it in the in this case of a, like a imidazole so now here one two three four five fifth position not the second okay so here it is the fifth position so his imidazole containing compound is called histidine this is called histidine okay this is a basic amino acid more than one nitrogen atom is there then it is a, it is called a basic amino acids okay now these three are like a basic uh, sorry not the basic heterocyclic amino acids okay uh, i'll give the uh, like uh, those uh, single abroads no, abbreviations and now here proline pro the p now here cysteine cys like a c so here methionine met that is a m here tryptophan try that is a w here histidine h i s h okay so these are the like all the types of uh, like uh, different types of uh, amino acids we are already discussed so aliphatic amino acids uh, five and one aromatic amino acid six here the sulf oxygen containing amino acids are three six plus three nine here sulfur containing amino acids are two eleven so these are the heterocyclic compounds uh, so now here total eleven plus three fourteen amino acids now six are left so those are acidic amino acids and basic amino acids now here histidine is also basic amino acid why because more than one nitrogen atom is there then it is called basic amino acids okay now let us discuss the acidic amino acids 
now here aspartic acid now here it is COOH like NH2H CH2COOH so simply which is came from the succinic acid we know that uh, this compound is called succinic acid so succinic acid at alpha position it, it contains NH2 group then it is called aspartic acid then it is called aspartic acid which is came from the succinic acid aspartic acid okay now here these aspartic acid having the like a amide functionality ch2 co nh2 okay now here which is called asparagine which is called asparagine okay instead of these are the two like aspartic amino acids now here it is nh2 hydrogen cooh now here ch2 so one more number of carbon is increased so general series is like oxalic acid malonic acid succinic acid glutaric acid okay now if one more number of carbon is increased then it is came from the glutaric acid alpha amino glutaric acid is called glutamic acid glutamic acid now however this compound containing like a nh2 functionality ch2 ch2 co nh2 this is called a glutamine this is called a glutamine okay now these these four are the like a uh, acidic amino acids so, however aspartic acid and glutamic acid absolutely amino acids these are uh, very closer to the acidic in nature now let us discuss the the remaining two so that is a uh, alanine sorry lysine not the alanine that is a lysine cooh now here ch2 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 nh2 okay here it is butyl amine butyl amine this compound is called lysine so here two amine groups are there that's why it is basic in nature okay now in in previous case histidine is also basic in nature cooh like a ch nh2 like a ch2 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 okay now here like this type of compound nh nh double bond nh nh2 so this is called arginine this is called arginine so these are the these two are the basic amino acids now let us discuss the final conclusions uh, uh, which is uh, acidic which is a uh, basic amino acid okay now the abbreviations are here asp so here d here asn here n okay now here glutamic uh, glutam here e okay now glutamine gln here it is the q okay now here lysine is k lysine is k arginine is r so these are the simplest abbreviations regarding to the like this type of amino acids now i will discuss the, so 20 types of amino acid all the 20 types of amino acids are alpha amino acids which contains uh, like a chiral center except glycine okay finally i will discuss those classification based on these uh, 20 amino acids Okay, so now in previous cases we will discuss several types of amino acids. Uh, in that uh, particularly, first of all, uh, occurrence based on the occurrence. Uh, so if which is occur naturally occurred, then it is called a natural uh, natural natural amino acids, which can be synthesized. Then it is called a synth synthesized amino acids. So, so generally we will take the like a uh, uh, human human body having the natural type of amino acids. Okay, now let us go through the like uh, requirement based on the uh, like uh, based on the requirement. Uh, uh, before going to that now let us discuss the location so all the type of 20 amino acids which are discussed in previous case so those are all are alpha amino acid so these all alpha amino acids are naturally occurred amino acids okay so 20 amino acids are alpha amino acids so many of the amino acids are in the alpha position and h2 only okay so this is the second classification now the third classification based on the requirement here which is classified essential amino acids and non-essential amino acids so essential amino acids which are required to our body but it cannot synthesize it in our body which can take in through the diet which can take in through the diet both essential and non-essential amino acids needed for body is equal amount one is a higher requirement another one is no lower requirement is not there okay both are required but uh, which is not synthesized which is cannot synthesize our body that's why we will take through the diet so now i'll give the very simple hint regarding to the essential amino acids uh, so th which are the essential amino acids i'll give the very simple trick so it is uh, a v hill m p t t so these amino acids only essential amino acids essential amino acids so now here a means arginine 
we are already discussed in last example so v means valine that is isopropyl containing amino acids h means histidine that is nothing but a imidazole containing group i means isoleucine l means lysine okay so that is basic compound l means leucine l means leucine m means methionine that is a sulfur containing compounds p means phenylalanine we know that so it is a uh, simply denoted by f okay t means uh, 309 309 so here 309 is a ch2 ch oh ch3 so last t means a tryptophan tryptophan this is nothing but indole containing amino acids okay so oh, these 10 amino acids are essential amino acids the remaining 10 amino acids are non essential amino acids so i'll give the very simple hint a b hill is so very easier a b hill mptt mp tt those amino acids are uh, uh, naturally uh, essential amino acids uh, essential amino acids so based on the like a chemical requirement uh, like a chemical nature which is classified uh, acidic amino acids basic amino acids neutral amino acids so in generally acidic amino acids that means uh, here more than one carboxylic acid is present then it is called acidic amino acids so here the aspartic acid and glutamic acid are acidic amino acids okay again these are the acidic group now however here it is basic amino acids basic amino acids in basic amino acids three types of amino acids are there basic one is l for lysine l for lysine so a for arginine so we are already discussed arginine is the last example so now here h for histidine it may be essential or non-essential non doesn't matter so here the based on the chemical nature which is classified either acidic or basic based on the more number of COOH or more number of NH2 so the remaining all are neutral compounds remaining all are neutral compounds so in uh, like uh, in electrolysis process so these having the like uh, in, at, at their uh, pH 7 so these forms are cations at in uh, isoelectric points these form, forms are anions why because COOH is more that means uh, COOH will forms the COO minus NH2 is more NH2 it forms the NH3 plus at their uh, pH 7 value pH 7 that is the neutral condition now here basic amino acid very easier trick we know that uh, lithium aluminum hydride it is the best reducing agent everyone is the everyone is knowing about uh, these amino acid so simply it is called lithium aluminum hydride is LAH L stands for lysine A stands for arginine H stands for histidine. So these three are like uh, essential, uh, like basic amino acids. Now here, aspartic, aspartin, okay, aspartic acid. Sorry, not the glutamic acid. So uh, again, asparagine and glutamine are both are closer to the acidic amino acids according to the IL phenol. So here, both uh, asparagine and uh, glutamine both are also acidic amino acid. So the remaining all are neutral amino acids. Neutral amino acids. Okay, sometimes they are asking about, uh, they are given the four options regarding to the four amino acids, arranged, the, arranged their uh, uh, like PKA value or PKB value. Okay, now I'll give the like a uh, uh, basic and acidic strength of, uh, basic and acidic strength of these uh, acidic and basic compounds. Okay, now here arginine having the highest isoelectric point that is 10.8, now lysine is 9.7, so histidine is 8.6, 8. Point, uh, not the 8.6, here it is the 7.6. Now among these three, arginine is more basic than the lysine, lysine is more basic than the histidine. So here it is the basic nature. So several times they are asking about the such type of questions. They are framed the such type of questions. Now uh, this is 2.2, 3.6 like uh, so here 2.6 and 3.2 approximate values. So here these are the particular values based on their uh, isoelectric points. Okay. Now here these three are basic amino acids. These two are acidic amino acids. All the remaining are neutral amino acids. So based on the like uh, functionality more NH2 groups are there then it is basic more COH are there then it is uh, like uh, acidic amino acids okay well, th that's all for this video here all these compounds which are classified uh, how, how many types the amino acids which are classified how many types based on the occurrence as well as the requirement chemical nature as well as the natural uh, uh, like a uh, uh, position location okay i'll i'll give the complete information regarding to the amino acid introduction class okay if you like the video share and subscribe the channel okay thank you for watching